Hey guys, so I get a lot of questions about how to wear a red lip and I never realized how involved a red lip really could be because there's so many different shades, there's so many textures, um, and your entire makeup look sort of, you know, has to revolve around that red lip. So basically I want to go over all of my favorite red lipsticks and glosses that I love to wear and basically just show you the canvas or the style of makeup that I like to wear with my red lips. So right now I just have um, a little bit of bronzer on my eyelids, some mascara, I have some bronzer on my cheeks, really subtle blush, and I also like to keep my makeup looking more flawless than usual, only because the red lip will sort of uh, intensify any sort of pigmentation, um, any redness you have on your face. It'll just make that more apparent. So I like to make the rest of it much more flawless, so that way I have a really nice blank canvas to work with. Now choosing the right red lip for you all depends on your skin tone and how bold and brave you are. <laughs> so uh, if you have more of a warm skin tone, you can go for something more like an orange red, uh, something like Hot Passion from CoverGirl. This is the Queen Collection. Uh, something like Hot Red would look really great um, just because it has that sort of warm, warm undertone. Also something like uh, this lucrative lip gloss in Luscious from Unique Cosmetics. It's more of like an orangey, like a really warm red. Now if you have more of a neutral skin tone or you have more pink in your skin tone, you might want to go for something more cool toned. So that's something with a little bit more blue. So you can go with something like Ruby Woo from MAC. Uh, this one's my favorite. It's the one I'm going to put on today. Or you can also do something like uh, this NARS pencil. It's in Dragon Girl. And it's really vibrant red. So this one here is Dragon Girl. This one here is Ruby Woo. This is the really warm Hot Passion. So you can already see how orange that is compared to the other ones. And then here is that gloss. Now if you're not very confident wearing a red lip, you can always go for something like a gloss or a stain. That way it's going to be a little bit more sheer and you can build up the color. So you just start out with a really light wash of color and then you can build up to the intensity that you're more comfortable with. Uh, me on the other hand, <laughs> uh, I'm used to wearing purple and hot pink and neons and things like that. So red doesn't really scare me, especially since uh, the rest of my makeup is so clean and simple. And uh, I don't like to do too much because then I feel like I look like a clown or a drag queen. <laughs> and that's not the look I'm going for every day. So some glosses I really like are uh, this one's from The Bomb. It's called Wow. And then this one... This one is from Smashbox. Uh, it's called It Girl. So it's very, this one's really sheer. So if you're very scared of red, um, this one is probably the sheerest red that I've seen. And this one is a Pretty Amazing by Bare Minerals. Now this is super pigmented, but it goes on like a gloss. So it's like a lipstick in gloss form. Now if you like something easy and that you can just throw on on the go, uh, this one is the Revlon Color Burst in stand out and they're this one's completely matte so it doesn't have any shine to it and then this one here is the Clinique chubby stick intense so uh, it's just a really vibrant red but I like the stick forms they're really easy to apply and nine times out of ten you won't have to wear a liner I typically don't wear a lip liner um, with any lipstick but with a red sometimes it can be nice to have a nice clean line so I like to use the Sephora brands waterproof lip liner in true red so um, I'll just line my lips so if you want your red lip to last longer you can fill in your lip with the liner so as your lipstick wears off during the day you're still gonna have the liner there so it's sort of like extra protection So today I'm going to go with the MAC Ruby Woo because it's a really, really vibrant classic red and I love that it's completely matte. I prefer a more matte red than a glossy red only because my lips are so large. <laughs> so if I wear glossy red, it's just going to be like pow in your face. The matte red sort of just makes it a little bit more subtle. So once I have the lip on, I just like to get tissue. And then I just blot. That way I don't get any of the uh, red on my teeth. Because you don't want any of that. <laughs> 
And then once they have one layer, I like to double up sometimes. Like I said, the more layers you have, the more protection you have against wearing and fading. Then lastly, if you want to create more of a full, plumpy, juicy lip effect, you can apply a little bit of gloss right to the center. And this is the Bombs uh, Read My Lips in Wow. You can just apply it just to the center, and it's just going to reflect some of that shine. And it's going to make your lips look a lot more fuller, a lot more plump and juicy. So, so let me know in the comments below what your favorite red lipstick is. I am always looking to buy more. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, guys. Bye.